All right, I'm uh, Morten from Sight Improve. Uh, company founded in 2003 in Copenhagen. Uh, so what we do is we uh, help our customers have a better website by checking for errors and uh, mistakes and, and uh, check f use our policies uh, our customer can set up to have full access and control of, over their websites. So this is the, the storyline. Uh, we started three guys, uh, started up in forming a company in, uh, in Denmark and in the UK because we knew if we were going to be successful, we had to expand internationally. Uh, and as you can see, we've done just so. Uh, we are in uh, 19 countries right now in, uh, with nine offices. And the way we do it is we, we like to be in control. So what we do is we establish a, a, a legal entity, a, a subsidiary. We own 100% and then we hire some salespeople uh, so everything we do is more or less based on outbound sales model. Why is that? There's no, that's at least what we saw in the beginning, there's no real demand for our tools. We, we need to get people uh, on a demo, online demo, to show them how their website look. Uh, so we need to um, make some, uh, some interest and we simply do that by cold calling. We have uh, around 200 salespeople around the world, and it's it's a very efficient uh, machine. Um, yeah, so you can also see it's an efficient machine you, uh, when you're able to build uh, six subsidiaries in a year in, in, in such uh, uh, remote uh, destinations. Uh, so. Um, oh, have you moved something? All right. Okay, so this is uh, uh, the revenue development. We, we grow 50% uh, we per year. We've done that the last five years and we intend to do that the next four years. So what the, the way we do it is set a goal and we set an extremely um, extreme goal. I mean, in, in 2014 we set the goal we, we wanted to hit uh, 100 million by the end of next year. And that was at the time seven times uh, the revenue we had at that time. And then you say, okay, to hit that goal, how much do I need to do in <coughs> each of the following years? Uh, and then you just start planning. Uh, and the way we do it with, with our own s sales model, uh, it's, it's quite easy. So one thing you need to do to, uh, to fund this, so we have never had any debt, uh, we have grown from our own money, we didn't have any investors until last year. You need to get the money in, uh, like Pineo, uh, invoice upfront for a year and grow for that money. Uh, and then make sure that every time you hire a salesperson, that salesperson is returning uh, revenue after seven months. So, so uh, yeah, and if you can do that, you can grow for your own, own money. 60% um, of our revenue comes from the US. Uh, so again, some, some talked about uh, luck in the, in the first session. We were lucky, we had a, a guy uh, here in Copenhagen, uh, he went to a bar a Saturday, met a girl from uh, Minneapolis and decided he wanted to go home with her and then we asked him to uh, establish a company in, uh, in Minneapolis. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we are not on the East Coast or the West Coast, we are in Minneapolis. Um, <laughs> But we have an extreme loyal uh, workforce. We have, uh, we have uh, the, the cost is not skyrocket, uh, et cetera. So, so we have 150 people mostly in sales uh, working out of the uh, Minneapolis uh, office. We are big in government, education. Uh, so a lot of, of uh, industries where, where our customers want a good uh, web presence. 
So our growth plan is pretty simple. Uh, as I said, we want to stay in control. Um, so we haven't partnered up with anyone. We're doing everything ourselves. We, we tried partners. Uh, we actually gave a partner in the US uh, the entire healthcare sector, which is a huge market, and nothing happened. And then we fired them, and it boomed. Uh, so we don't believe in partners, not at that early stage. We might want to do it at a later stage. But if you want to grow your business, you need to be in control. That's the lesson we learned, anyway. Uh, So uh, you need to grow, uh, and if you don't grow, others will take your market. So that's why growth is that important. Uh, and then you need to grow smart. So you can see the figures for for this year, 2017. We want to hit uh, 57 million dollars. So that's a 54 percent growth. The cost will only go up with 33 uh, percent. And the employees will only go up with 22%. So we need to work smarter. The good thing is, when you have that kind of revenue, you can actually hire smart people to work on uh, making your business efficient. So if you can uh, reduce your churn with one percentage point, or you can uh, the conversion rate with one percentage point, you, you can uh, make millions, uh, right? So we just need to hire the, the right smart people. Um, so last year we set a new goal, uh, we want to hit $200 million uh, in 2020. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, so it's becoming more and more difficult to grow 50 percent, of course. I mean, um, uh, just this year it it's equals uh, 20 million uh, US dollars in net growth, uh, right? We're also losing customers, so really we must upsell for something like uh, maybe 23 million dollars. That's a lot of money. Uh, and it's, we can't just hire new salespeople, right? I mean, we need to be smarter. We need to be better at the upselling. Um, uh, and and uh, uh, come with a lot of new uh, products we can uh, sell to the existing um, customer. So. When I look back and then uh, Morten called me and said, hey, wh what's, the, what's the secret of your growth? I said, yeah, what's the secret? The secret to our growth is you need to make, I heard that this expression yesterday, so I just want to use it. Mm -hmm. You need to be make smart, no, what was it? <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> short, short, term, short term pain to get uh, long term gain. I thought that was smart. So, <laughs> so at one point, we uh, the, the guy uh, from the bar, he uh, he said, "Okay, I can drive, I can run four salespeople, but I can't, I can't. I'm an engineer. I don't know how to uh, motivate them or uh, learn them. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Rejection handling, etc. I can't do it. So, okay." So, and he, we also faced another thing. We had an extremely low success rate of hiring salespeople. I mean, out of four, we had fired uh, three uh, within uh, half a year. So we, we need to work smarter. Uh, so we did, so we had two choices. We could hire, either hire four salespeople that we would each cost us $50,000, or we could hire a sales director at $200,000, uh, which wouldn't sell by himself. Um, and we could barely afford it, but we thought this is the right thing to do, uh, and it was. Uh, we, you need professionals, you need someone that can take you to the next level, and that's why you, you need to, to step back and to grow. So that's what we did. So we had this uh, American-born sales director know uh, all the uh, excuses from salespeople, uh, and they have a lot. Um, <laughs> but he also ran into issues after uh, salesperson number 10 was hired. And why was that? Because he had to onboard a new salesperson every time. He had to run through the forecast, etc., with, with uh, all of them. Uh, and that wasn't really scalable. So. Our uh, chairman at the board, 
old IBM guys who said, okay, we need to make a sausage factory out of this. We need to take, have a system where we can onboard se seven salespeople at a time. Uh, so what we did was we hired a recruiter. Uh, she made an onboarding program. She uh, took all the engine news. Uh, she was smart. She uh, had been dealing with salespeople for a long time. The sales director uh, took the interviews, but she would onboard them uh, to, uh, about the culture and, and about the products, etc. And suddenly, we were able to to grow at the, at this uh, at this pace. Um, so that was, if 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 anything, that was the thing. So growing in America made us made it possible for us to have the uh, funding to grow in uh, in Europe. Uh, and then you want, need to work on staff, staff churn uh, because it's so unpredictable if you lose uh, staff, cost error uh, salespeople. Then I, I spoke shortly about that. Uh, set a goal, and it, as I said, it needs to be a uh, ratio high. I mean, uh, you need to, and everybody will say you're a lunatic. Um, uh, we've just started planning 2018 because next year we'll not be uh, growing 20 million, we will be growing 30 million, so we need to find the 10 million extra. Uh, we need to start doing that now. So we're investing all our free capital in, in future growth. Um, a growth, uh, <laughs> in order, I mean, if you have a churn of 20%, it, it, it doesn't matter if you grow 50%, you will still only uh, grow about 25%. So you really need to really need to get control over the, the <coughs> churn, uh, keep your customers happy. We spent an enormous amount of money on onboarding customers, onboarding their salespeople, know their employees, etc. So you really need to focus on them and their, their happiness and their needs. Uh, then you need to be able to upsell, so you need some products uh, so you can upsell. The, our lesson is, uh, what we have taught is, the more products a customer has, the more sticky is that customer. So if we can get them, uh, we also have an analytics tool, if we can get them on an analytics tool, they're much less likely to churn. Um, we work on conversion rates, and of course, we also work on uh, our products, uh, which we develop out of uh, our Copenhagen office. Uh, so, and today we have uh, we have four recruiters, uh, and we have taken we have learned a lot in those uh, four years. So uh, now we're also running a personality test, and we can see what's <coughs> what's a good salesperson. A good salesperson is one with a competitive edge, and if we do a test that on a person and he's likable or she's likable, uh, but lack that competitiveness, it won't work. We, we know for a fact uh, having that many salespeople. So, uh, so we've improved uh, on, on hiring, so uh, uh, that's uh, very good. Um, yeah, that was my presentation. Thank you. Thank you.